AI surprisingly creates funny memes. I didn't think it could. I thought AI was not funny at all, but turns out if you build a proper system and a proper workflow and give it the right context and the right prompts, it can actually help you create some pretty funny memes. Now, if you missed my last video where I talked about how a brand new Instagram channel that I created had over 112,000 views in the first 30 days, using memes built through this system here that you can see on the screen. I'll link that, that video below if you want to go check it out. During that process, I found out that there's actually some pretty funny memes that AI can create. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate that we're going to use one of my favorite videos here by Jordan Peterson talking about happiness. So we're just going to dive straight into this workflow. Hope you can keep up as we do go. But basically, I just find the video that I want on TikTok. So this one, I'm just going to grab the URL from this video here. And I'm just gonna create a new record inside of this Airtable workflow. I'm gonna paste the TikTok URL into this section here and click Submit. So what that now does is I can choose a brand that I'm going to use for this meme. And we're just gonna use this Golfify brand that I created recently. It's not really a brand that we're working with. I just thought that I would use this as an example. And then we just simply go extract video. Now what that's gonna do is go to TikTok. It's gonna rip that video without a watermark. So the problem that I had when I was doing this manually is if I downloaded it from TikTok, then it will do have a watermark on the video. But if I open this up now, it's already completed we can see that there's no watermark on this video at all. So we've downloaded it with no watermark, but it's also done a second thing. It's transcribed the video and it's added the transcription into here. And this is the part where we use AI for the process. So here we just need to talk about what the topic is and we can simply just type in one word if it is one word. I'm just gonna type in golf and just we're just gonna see what happens. But sometimes let's say you have a more obscure type of niche that you're working with or if you have a few funny ideas or existing memes that have done well and you wanna add some extra context into here as well, then you could, but I'm simply just gonna do golf. And then we're gonna add in the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model. I've tested a few models. This one is by far the best one when it comes to generating memes. So here we're just gonna run this automation and basically what that automation is gonna do is gonna reference the topic, it's gonna to reference the transcription from the video and then it's gonna come up with a few ideas of what it thinks we could actually use for this particular video. So here it is, when you finally hit the, the perfect drive after 37 attempts at the range. Not too bad. POV, the feeling when you sink a 30 foot putt in front of your friends who said you sucked at golf. That would actually be not a bad one. That moment when your ball lands on the green instead of the woods. When the golf cart girl compliments your swing. That's actually not too bad. When the indescribable feeling of outdriving your trash talking father, no, nah, not that good. When you break 90 for the first time, but no, have no one to celebrate with, not bad. That one perfect shot that keeps you coming back despite 97 terrible ones, not bad. When you finally get a hole in one, but your wife wasn't watching, terrible. POV, you just beat your boss at golf, nah, terrible. The unbearable ecstasy of finding your lost Pro V1 after searching for only two minutes, not too bad at all. But let's go with the golf cart girl one. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of pretty ladies in golf carts and who sell a lot of beers and stacks to people. So that would be actually be a, a really relatable one to the audience of the golfers. So all I do now is I'm just gonna add this down here. And then I would just come into our folder here and go to the golf memes folder that we set up when we're onboarding a client, for example. And here we have all of the existing memes that we've created. So if you watched the last video, you would have seen that was the one that we did in the last video. So let's use this one here and maybe we can find a golf cart girl. Let's just see. It doesn't really show the full image that well. Let's see if there's another one. Anyway, we couldn't find it, so let's just use that. And we're just gonna use this same style here. We're just gonna bring this across and we're going to then come back and we're gonna go copy this and we're gonna add this one in here. Now, the other thing that happened when we were downloading that video from TikTok is that it uploaded it directly into here for us. So here it is ready to go for us already in Canva. So we simply just need to move this around and then we go BG remover and we might wanna make this a little bit bigger and we might wanna make these a little bit better, bigger. And then we just wait for that background to be removed. And then that is our meme done. Let's watch it. It's certainly not just happiness. It's better than happiness, but it's almost unbearable. So from there, all we need to do now is download that, come in, upload it into the video file section and send that off to our social media profiles via the metrical integration and that is done. So that's how easy it can be to create memes. Turns out you don't have to be super funny. I didn't think I was funny at all, but 
like I said, this page that I was showing you earlier, it's had 112,000 views from memes in the first 30 days, actually it was in 26 days. So if you are someone who wants a lot of engagement on your videos or on your profile, and you want an easy way to create memes at scale for maybe not just one brand or two brand, for as many brands as you want, you could even build a business out of this of creating memes for all of the different brands that are out there. So if you are interested in how we built this entire system from start to finish, there's a long tutorial here on my Big Moves brand channel. Make sure you go check that out. Or if you just want to buy the template, then there'll be a link in the description. See you in the next video.